everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Lighthouse. Lighthouse is our, our way of bringing God's light into your house. My name is Antonia Janji and I'll be your host for tonight's episode. So today our theme and topic for the day is service requires no effort. And I want you just to have a think about all the times in your life where you've thought, oh, I'm going to ring this person today or I'm going to give money here today or I'm just going to help someone today. Did you feel something afterwards when you, when you did those acts of kindness? Did you think to yourself, oh, that makes me feel like a better person? Or did you genuinely do it because you wanted to help others? Today we have a speaker here, Bass. How are you doing, Bass? Thank hey, you for good. joining us today. Good, good, thanks. And he will be telling us a bit about service and more importantly, that you can do the little things to represent service. So how are you doing today, Bass? Yeah, I'm good. It's my first time in front of a camera. Yeah. So I don't know what I'm doing, yeah. but hopefully you can guide me through. Yeah, don't worry. It'll be fine. Everyone <laughs> okay. will think you're, you're perfect doing okay, great, it. Great, great. Anyway, so I just wanted to get into the topic first of all and ask, what exactly is service? Um, service is um, relieving the burden of somebody else, um, whether it's a, that's my opinion anyway, so whether it's a financial burden or whether it's a psychological burden or anything, whether it's a physical burden, so going out and serving somebody, um, putting yourself uh, at, at, the, uh, at the beck and call of somebody who's in need mm. and just offering yourself to help them to relieve some of their pain. Yeah. So you were saying how everyone's really busy in their lives. Yeah, yeah, we're all, we're all very, very busy people. I mean, everybody, and, and it's the nature of the 21st century. I mean, we're, we've all got so much to do. So we have to sit back and ask ourselves, why is service important? Yeah. I, look, to be, to be blunt, why do I care about somebody else's burden? Mm. Why do I care if somebody has lost money or someone's in hospital? They've got their own people to look after them. Mm. I, I mean, why should I go out of my way? Yeah. So then you have to refer back and really ask yourself, why am I doing that? What did Christ uh, actually say? So a guy came up to Christ, uh, a lawyer, and he, and he said to him, um, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Mm. Um, and it said here he was trying to trap Christ. What must I do to inherit eternal life? And he said, you're a lawyer. By the way, lawyers back then weren't <coughs> lawyers who were experts in family law, law or constitutional law mm. or something like that. They were experts in the law of Moses and the Old Testament and so on. So the, he said, so what must I do to inherit eternal life? And he said, what's your reading of the law? And he summarized it in two, uh, two sentences. He said, love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, strength and soul. That's number one. And love your neighbor mm. as yourself. So Christ looked at him and he said, okay, you've, you've said that quite well, do that and you will live. Yeah. So he was telling him to love his neighbor as himself. If he does that, he will live. So the guy then uh, attempting to trap Jesus said, okay, smarty, mm. who is my neighbor? Yeah. So the first point, the first point is why must I serve? Because Christ said that, our service, of, uh, our, our eternal life is tied to our service of other people. Right. It's tied to it. There's no avoiding and it. And that's not like you just go out and you give money to a homeless person you see on the street. That's like any act of service, like having nothing to do with money as well. Well, well, perhaps it is. I mean, I, I mean, let's look at our busy lives that we were speaking about before. Mm. I mean, we're all really, really busy. But are we really? I mean, uh, uh, that's almost rhetorical. Are we really? Mm. How many hours a day? This, look, um, uh, Apple released something on their phones called Screen Time. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and if you actually went at the end of your day, you summarized, you summarized your day by looking at your screen time, you'd be shocked. Yes. Because I spent three hours playing what game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or scrolling on Instagram. Or scrolling on Instagram. Facebook. Or looking at uh, YouTube with cats, cats yeah. falling off fridges. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, and, and then and then we're so invested by this cat falling off a fridge that we send it to someone and we post it. Yeah. Why not put that useless time aside? Like YouTube is like the junk food we put in our bodies. YouTube yeah. we put that in our brains. It's a junk food for yeah. our brains. Rabbit holes. Yeah, yeah rabbit holes. exactly. Yeah. So so why not? I'm not saying stop looking at YouTube. Mm. But why not? take out 10% of your screen time on YouTube yeah. because at the end of the day, you'll see YouTube, you know, three hours. Okay, make it two hours or two mm. and a half hours and take that half an hour and serve with it. Yeah. What do you do in that half an hour mm. in terms of service? Um, one thing you could do is go through your phone book on your phone and find people you haven't spoken to in a while and send them a hello. Mm. A love heart, hey, miss ya, been thinking of you. I hope you're well. Mm. Pull stop. Yeah. I actually did that a couple of weeks ago, right? And I sent 20 messages. 
like randomly. To just random people? No, no, they're not random. They're in my phone and they're friends of mine. <laughs> you and ran I, to put and in I a random to, number. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who are you? Yeah, exactly. It's active and service. I, I ran into one of the girls, um, uh, uh, one of the girls that I sent the message to at a wedding mm. and she said, thank you for sending the message. Oh, that made nice. all the difference. I needed it. And I thought, did I send a message to her? <laughs> Perhaps I did, yeah. I must have. Yeah. And what I didn't know is that she was going through stuff and she needed that. Yeah. Or, or why not, so that's one, send messages out and show people, especially in this COVID time and, and so on, and people are a bit anxious, mm. show them that someone's thinking of them. And that's, yeah. it's really, really important. Or find someone who's doing it tough financially and transfer somebody to their account. Yeah. You don't even need to tell people no. about it. Yeah, that's, no. that's the other thing. So like, say for example, you do an active service. Hmm. Does the active service get tainted if you go around and tell people, oh, hey, I gave my friend, you know, like $100 the other day, or I rang so-and-so and said, how are you doing, just so that they could feel better? Well, What do you think about I mean, that? I, I mean, that, that's not good. I mean, the, the yeah. place where that service is coming from isn't a good place. Okay. And also you run the risk practically of this person who you gave the money to hearing back mm. that you're showing off, yeah. that you gave the money, and you're making them look really bad in front of yeah, other people yeah. that they're in need and they may be begging for money or they're greedy or something like yeah. that. It's better to keep silence, okay, right? Keep silence. So, so service, the opportunity for service, this is why the theme is service takes no effort mm. because it doesn't. Yeah. Take out a bit of your screen time. How many of us binge on Netflix? And it's episode after episode. <laughs> and then when you look at it, it's like filling your stomach with lollies. Yeah. It's nutritional value. Not really, no. Well, nothing. Mm. It gives you a bit of a buzz, but it's nothing. Mm. So rather than watching three episodes in a day, watch two mm. and give that other one to service. Do you think like, say for example, if someone says, okay, they watch this and they're like, I need to do more, I need to serve more, they should put in a time in their day to do a service act or should it be something that's kind of just impulsive and spontaneous? Um, if my kids are watching this, they'll, they'll, they'll laugh because routine is key. Okay. We are creatures of routine. Mm. You know, when I don't know if you've had a baby in the family somewhere, brother or sister or an aunt had a baby or something. Routine is key. And the baby needs to eat at a certain time and sleep at a certain time and wake up at a certain time. Mm. Otherwise, everything screws up. Yeah. And you know that if you're in a certain routine and you're waking up at six o'clock in the morning or seven o'clock to go to work or go to uni or go to wherever, and then one night you stay up till three and you're still waking up at seven, it screws you up for two yeah. days, two or three days. For sure. Routine is key. It's good to block up a time of your day where you say, this is my prayer time. Mm -hmm. This is my service time. And force yourself during that time to find an act of service. Mm -hmm. Call that person, um, transfer some money, send something inspirational rather than a meme of something uh, of, of a minion saying whatever. A cat falling off a, a fridge. A cat falling <laughs> off a fridge. It's always funny, yeah, but, no. uh, but is it useful? <laughs> no. But maybe, what about, how about, okay, maybe that cat falling off the fridge, that funny thing can make someone laugh who you know is feeling down. Is Perfect. that an act of service? Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Make right. the time, make the time to do that. Yeah. There are so many acts of service. If, we're, for example, I mean, um, when you're walking down the street, say hello to people who walk, yeah. walk past you. And I know that sounds weird. I mean, you gave me that, that look, the same look as my kids give me. Mm. Why do you say hello to everybody? Because people are lonely. Mm. And this hello could be the first word anybody said to that person in a month. Mm. This is true. I, I agree with you. But also at the same time, sometimes when you do that, you get a bad reaction back and possibly this can make you for the next time be like, okay, I'm not going to do that anymore. Do you think you should still keep doing it? If S Suck it up. Suck it up. Okay. S suck it. So we get a bad, bad reaction. Yeah. Big deal. Yeah. You get one bad reaction, you get three nice reactions. Mm. You know, with it, uh, you go on a walk and you start talking to people and say, g'day, nice dog, great weather. And you'd be surprised at how many people stop yeah, yeah, yeah. and say, hey, hey, it is nice weather. Yeah. Thank, you for, thank you for noticing, yeah, yeah. you know, all that sort of stuff. It's really, really important. You're at church, for example. Mm -hmm. People walk past you. Hey, I've never seen that bag before. That's really cool. I love your hair. Yeah. Go out of your way to find ways of making people's life joyful. Yeah. And that's, that's what it's all about. And, mm -hmm. and I was going to say that, that it's easy for a start. It's easy. Like when we imagine service, we imagine a missionary going into, um, I don't know, Afghanistan, risking their lives, waving their Bible yeah, yeah. around and finally dying as a martyr. Oh 
that's what we think of services. So if I can't do that, I'm not doing anything rubbish. Mm. Yeah, there not. are so many smaller acts that we can do that are as, as powerful. Like when we, when we continue with the story of the lawyer, when he said, do this and you, may, you will live mm. if you love your neighbor. And then he said, who is my neighbor? What do you think Jesus said? Jesus said when, to the question of who is my neighbor, he went into a story, a parable about the Good Samaritan. He said mm. the, a, a, a guy was walking down the road, he got mugged, yeah. he got beat up, to, and he, they, they left him half dead, naked, on the road, bleeding. They took his money, they took his clothes, they took everything. Mm. And then a priest walked past, looked at him, kept walking. Another guy walked past, called him a deacon, mm. but he's a Levite, looked at him, kept walking. And he said, a Samaritan, who's the enemy of the Jews, yeah. walked by and it said, and these are the, the most important words, he had compassion on him. Mm. Now, the Samaritan wasn't going out of his way to serve. Mm. He was going about his business. Yeah. He saw a guy lying by the side of the road who needed help. Two out of three people didn't help him, mm. but he had compassion. Yeah. And he helped him. Yeah, actually on that point, you know, like as Christians, it's for us, we have to should serve everybody. But sometimes some Christians may find it hard to serve people who may not be a Christian. Do you think it's important to also put emphasis on serving other people who may not be a part of your own community? Um, uh, service, uh, different types of services are made for different types of people. But we all have to serve in our own way. Yeah. Some, people, some people are good at standing in a church and doing sermons to a thousand people. Other people, 95% of us, shriek yeah. at public speaking and, and we can't do it. So these guys have been given a gift. Mm. Other people are, are so good at talking to opposite religions, religions that are completely different to us. Other people are good with people um, on the streets where they don't talk about Christ or anything like that, but they just hand out food. Yeah. So find your calling because mm. we're all called to serve and we have to find what our service uh, actually yeah. is. And this guy walking down the street, I wonder how many times we've been faced with somebody in our path, like you're on the way to work on the train and you see a, a lady crying. That's the person on the road that's been beat up and you're the Samaritan. Mm. Are you a good Samaritan or are you going to just say, mm, I don't know, maybe she's crazy, maybe she's on drugs, yeah. maybe her boyfriend's in the other carriage, he's going to beat me up. <laughs> Think about this Samaritan, right? Mm. He picks up a Jew, puts him on his donkey yeah. or on his horse, walks beside the horse, it was like 20 Ks, and this is a Samaritan, the enemy of the Jews, taking a Jew that's beat up and bloody into Jerusalem. Mm. Where's the risk there? much risk yes yeah. that could have killed him yeah. and he thought I i'm this guy needs me yeah and i'm gonna help him so this lady on the train could be the person on that road to jericho who's beat up and there's your opportunity she's crying and to go up and say are you okay yeah so there's always a chance for us to do acts of service every day in our it, life it's it, it's it's everywhere yeah. but you know what we we don't open our eyes and there there was a there was a another story in the bible about not opening our eyes the there was a Lazarus and the rich man. Mm. There was a rich man, filthy rich. His, food, his table was filled, of, filled with food always. He, it says he was dressed in purple and purple is a really expensive color mm. of clothing to make back then. And Lazarus was at his gate begging for food. He was being licked by dogs. His wounds were being licked by dogs. It was awful. They both died. One went to heaven and one didn't, mm. right? What did the guy do wrong, the rich guy? He didn't swear at him. He didn't kick him. He didn't call the cops to come and take him. He just didn't notice he was there. He didn't help him. No, he didn't notice. Oh, at all. He didn't even notice. He wasn't even there. Oh, wow. Ask ourselves, are we that person? Mm. If a person in front of us is in need, do we even see him? So just before you mentioned prayer, um, yeah. I was just wondering, is prayer equally as important as service or should they be equal? Should one be more than the other? Yeah, the, the, whenever you go out to serve anybody, like when we spoke about even the simple act of sending out 20 text messages to people who you don't know need, may need it or may not, you haven't seen them in a while, you want them to know that you're thinking about them, perhaps it's good to pray and mm. say, God, let this be your work and not mine. Yeah. And if anything good comes out of this, help me not be proud. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I and was going to say, so like people who, because sometimes, unfortunately, if you're a wealthy person or not even wealthy, you've just been raised in a family where, you know, you 
don't serve often as maybe other people do, you can pray to God and ask him, like, please, God, give me this gift of like trying to be service to everyone. Or, or, and Or put in my path people that you want served mm. and then give me the courage to actually serve them. Yeah. Because that lady crying on the train, it's not easy to walk up and say. No, it's not. There's many risks that can and come And there's from a lot it. of risks and she may take it badly. Mm. You know? Why do you care? Who are you anyway? Leave me alone. Do you know my life? And you're risking, and, and the problem with um, putting in your mind that you want to serve her is all the doubts pop in straight away. Yeah. And there's a billion reasons to say no. Like that guy on the road and he saw what looked like a Jew possibly. Mm. There was a thousand reasons for him to avoid him. If the priest went around him, his own, his own priest, why should I go anywhere near him? There's a thousand. But all you should think of is Christ told me to serve and yeah. serve I must. Yeah. And God, give me, give me the type of heart that's compassionate to everybody that you put in my path. Yeah. And do you think sometimes, you know, if say, for example, I work at a supermarket, right? And sometimes people don't, they don't even interact with you. You get treated badly yourself. Even if you are that person who doesn't get served, you still should serve people, even though you feel you don't get that in your own life. Yeah, the, the, that's a bit of an art mm. also. Uh, the art is giving people an excuse. Okay. You don't know what people are going through. I was speaking um, to a friend of mine whose wife is at home all the time and she's anxious. Right. She, she she won't go outside. Is it even because of COVID? Before, and stuff, way or before, or before COVID, COVID. Way before COVID. She's anxious and she won't go outside. Mm. Right. And it's hard on him. Yeah. Because he wants to go out. Yeah. He wants yeah. to go out, and she's got this psychological issue, and she's she feels tense and anxious around people. The the bizarre thing is during COVID, she felt normal. Oh my god. Because everyone's inside. Yeah. Now that COVID's lifting, she feels odd mm. again. We don't know what people are facing. Yeah. I don't understand that. I, I don't understand it. Mm. All I need to know is people have, are facing their own trials mm. and we don't understand. Our job is just to serve. So if that guy comes into your supermarket <laughs> and swears at you for counting one more Mandarin than, than you should have, then give him an excuse because you have no idea what he's facing what at he's home. Going through, yeah. And maybe if you were going something through something similar, you'd swear a lot worse than than him. Yeah. So just take it and smile and say, have a good day and yeah. move on. Because we actually don't know. I know. Yeah, that's very true. And also, like you, you said before, it's do the little things, right? Yeah. Sending a message, sending a call, or even just sending, transferring someone some money. If maybe on a, someone wants to do something on a big scale, do you think at the same time they should also focus on doing something on small scale every single day? Because you can't just always... Yeah, Do that's that's big. building a heart of that's building a heart of service. Mm. Once you start doing more and more and more and more and more of the little things, then you'll start building towards the big things. You can do big things by little, doing little things. Like for example, you can pinpoint somebody who's a bit shy, a bit lonely, and then organize a group of their friends to visit them. Yeah. Or their next birthday, do a surprise birthday, yeah. and then talk to your girlfriends and say, "Hey, you want to mm. organize something for her?" Because because mm. you know why just because just yeah. because and that's an act of service mm. we we need to think outwardly not like that rich man who would walk past his gate didn't even see the beggar yeah yeah we we, we shake our heads but but i'll, I'll tell you something I, i've spent a lot of time going to india for work mm. and the first time i went to india i was overwhelmed the amount of poverty in mm. india is it's shocking it's shocking yeah. they say there's 700 million people in poverty, 700 million, there's 25 million in Australia. Yeah. So do the mathematics, it's, it's, it's huge. I was so shocked. But then after my 10th trip to India, I didn't even notice. Oh my gosh. Did you become like dis I desensitized just, to it? I or? just didn't notice, I, I didn't notice. You would stop at the, at the traffic lights in a cab and a woman would come up with her naked baby mm. and saying, oh, I want to eat, mm. right? And the first few times you'd reach into your pockets and you'd give yeah, them yeah. money and you'd, you'd start to weep and, mm. and all this. Then after a few other times, you'd hear the stories about this being a big criminal organization. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, we've heard all the stories. Yeah. So you start making the excuses and then you don't even notice the people living in the dirt on the bridges. Yeah. So you have to work at this. You have to. And you have, to, you have to be like that Good Samaritan where you say, Lord, give me a compassionate heart. 
mm. because it's going stone cold yeah. right now. It's and help me notice the need around me. Yeah, it's not just something that comes in a day like that. You've got to work at it. Well, thank you so much, Bass, for giving okay. us this valuable information. It's okay. Um, we hope you guys have learned something interesting today. And just to keep in mind that service is not something that's a big scale thing. It can be things done on a day-to-day -day basis, yeah. giving your friend a call, messaging your friend, transferring someone. So thank you again. No problem. Um, thank you everyone for tuning in. Good night and have a good rest of the week. God bless you.